Ansar and Muhajireen. Some people from Mecca, they immigrated to Medina. Some people from Medina. All of them, Al-Mu'amun min Al-Muhajireen and Al-Ansar. وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ The people followed them with the goodness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising them. رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنهم. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please all of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all of the followers min tabi'een رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنهم they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not only that وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي تَحْتَهَا الْأَنْهَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make preparation for their palace beneath the palace the river is running around the palace and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them glad tidings for Jannah in the Quran. So that's why we have to know some uh, real golden hero. This is the companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Most of the Muslims ignore about it. We cannot ignore it. The Muslim must follow the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Very important. And Rasulullah says in the hadith, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati khulafai wa shirin al mahdiyin. You must follow my sunnah. And not only my sunnah, the rightly guided khulafa, arba'a, my companion sunnah. Follow my sunnah, my, com my companion sunnah, and stay fast, hold fast with that. Meaning, if you want to follow Rasulullah, you must follow the companion of Rasulullah. By a companion of Rasulullah, we get the Quran and sunnah. So we must follow them, we respect them, must uh, learn the history of the companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Time is very short, I'm going to mention one. Great companion of Rasulullah, real quick. His name, name is Abu Zar al Ghifari He was the one golden hero among the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was in the beginning of Islam. Some people call they are following Tawheed. They don't do any associate with Allah subhanahu wa taala. They don't drink wine. They don't do fornication. They were good. They are in Tawheed. So this is the people Abu Zar al Ghifari and his brother Unais al Ghifari. They were following Tawheed. And before the Nubu of Rasulullah, they were praying. So someone asked, Why are you praying? Why are you are praying? Say, I pray for the pleasing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which way will you make a Kaaba, Qibla? You say, Where is Allah? I'm facing this way. So meaning he's in Tawheed. So Abu Zar al Ghifari, Unais al Ghifari, they were in Tawheed. When Rasulullah declared the Nabuwa, Unais al Ghifari came to Mecca and believed in the Messenger of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam become Muslim, say, Ashhadu Allah, Ilaha illallah, Ashhadu Muhammad Rasulullah. And he go back to his family, talk to his brother. But that time, the beginning of Islam, he hid Islam. He didn't tell anyone. Beginning of Islam. And Abu Zar al Ghifari, he was pious. Unais al Ghifari, he was pious. They found out in their community, Ghifar tribe, they are not respecting the month of Haram, Ashkul Hulu, Muharram, Rajab, Zul Qada, Zul Hidda, the four months is very important month in Islam. They don't respect those months. That's why they want to leave their community. And please fill up the first one. They want to leave their community and they want to come to their uncle. He live next to the Makkah. Go with you. Rasulullah said, No, I allowing you to go to your tribe, invite them for the Islam, give them dawah. This is the lesson to learn. We are living in the Muslim society. How many people we invite for the true message of Islam? How many people? Think about that. This is our responsibility. This is as a Khalifa to fil Ard. Our responsibility is invite the people, our non-Muslim neighbor, everyone. Doesn't matter Muslim, non-Muslim, even the atheist, invite the true message of Islam. So Rasulullah said, don't take him with him. Say, so go your tribe and invite them about Islam, give them message. And he go back to his tribe, Abu Zal al-Ghifari ta'ala anhu, and he invite them Islam. Some of the people, they invite, accept Islam immediately. They say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. His family, most of them invite, accept Islam. And they make one person Imam, Khifaq ibn Imam ibn Rukhsa al-Ghifari. He become Imam of the tribe and he lead the prayer. So that time, some of them become Muslim, and when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam immigrated to Medina, and everybody, the, the, some some people of the tribe of Ghifar, they meet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Rasulullah asked about Abu Zar al Ghifari. Abu Zar al Ghifari said, "I am here." So he asked about his tribe. Rasulullah said, "Your tribe accept Islam?" 
What happened? Abu Zal Ghifari and his tribe, they took all the people of the Bani Ghifar with them to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And every single one of the tribe of Ghifar, they accept Islam in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah wa rahmatullahi wa sallam. Subhanallah wa rahmatullahi wa sallam. And then there's a tribe is next to Abu Zal Ghifari's tribe, it's called tribe of Aslam. <coughs> they didn't accept Islam. When they heard Bani Ghifar accept Islam, they came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they accept Islam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dua for two tribes. This is the dua. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ghifar, Rafar Allahu laha. Tribe of Ghifar, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. This is the dua from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for Bani Ghifar. And for tribe of Aslam, Salama Allahu laha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you from all kind of harming. So Rasulullah sallam made dua for two tribes, one tribe of Ghifar, the whole tribe of the people become Muslim. The one tribe of Aslam, they become whole tribe of the person of the tribe, they become Muslim. So this is the effort of Abu Zar al-Ghifari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Real quick, I'm going to mention one hadith about Abu Zar al-Ghifari radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Rawat Tirmizi wa Ibn Majah Abdullah ibn Amr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal. Abdullah ibn Amr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu this hadith that Samir to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa yaqul, I heard Rasulullah sallam saying, ma qallati al-ghabra wa la azallati al-khadra min rajulin asdaqa lehjatan min Abi Zar. The bottom of the world meaning under the sky above the earth there is no person great truth teller except the person Abu Zar al-Ghifari subhanallah alhamdulillah subhanallah al-azim so Rasulullah is giving glad telling for the true person real person he is the person among the whole humanity at the time he was the only except special true person he gets certificate from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asked Rasulullah sallam oh my beloved messenger of Allah can you wasiyah give me some advice? This is the advice I want to share with you. Amarani Khalili sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bisabli. Rasulullah will give me seven advice. Amarani bihubbil masakini wa dunubi minhum. Number one advice. Rasulullah will advise me always love the poor people. Always love the poor people. Miskeen. Wa dunubi minhum. And try to get close of them. Try to know of their need. Number one. وَأَمَرَنِي أَلَّا أَسْأَلَ أَحَدًا شَيْئًا Second, Masiyah of Rasulullah Sallam to Abu Zal al-Ghifari Never make sual to anyone I need something, please give me some money I need something, please give me Never ask anyone anything The second, Masiyah from Rasulullah Sallam to Abu Zal al-Ghifari Number three وَأَمَرَنِي أَنْ أَقُولَ بِالْحَقِّ وَإِنْ كَانَ مُرْوَنِ Rasulullah Sallam can advise him Always tell the truth Even it is bitter Always tell the truth Even if it is bitter Number four, وَأَمَرَنِي أَلَّا خَافَ فِي اللَّهِ لَوْ مَتَلَائِمْ Rasulullah and advice Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, number four, always fear Allah. Do not fear anyone other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number five, وَأَمَرَنِي أَنْ أُكْسِرَ مِنْ قَوْلَ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advise me, always recite, the zikr, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Everybody say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Why you recite that? Fa inna hunna min kanzim tahta al-arshi. This is diamond under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a diamond under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La hawla wa la quwwata illa. Number five, I missed two. Number one. Number six. Wa amarani an anzura ila man huwa dhuni. Rasulullah sallam advised me always look for who is below of you, down of you. Someone is richer than you. No. Look who is not richer like you. Always look for the people who is down than you, not upper than you. Number six. <coughs> Number seven. Wa amarani an anzura ila la anzura ala ila wa amarani an asila rahima. Number seven. Always take care of your, your relative, your brother, your family, your relative. This is the seven advice from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Golden advice. This is keep saving brother in your heart. And Abu Zar al-Ghifari always said this advice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to learn the golden history of the Tawfari of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq. ITV, call of peace, save humanity.